Good morning, my friends, and welcome. As I have said on my blog, I do not wish for President Obama to fail, but his policies are such that if they succeed, this country will be on the road to ruin before too long. Over the last week, I have sat and wait to be able to say, s make a good comment about something that our new president has done. But on that one, I am still waiting. He has, in the first days of his term, signed more executive orders than any other president in recent history has, and not one of them is going to be good for the welfare or the safety of the nation that he now leads. He signed an executive order to stop the torture of the detainees when there was not much of anything being done to them. They were and are being treated better than any prisoner of war has been since the beginning of time. And when it was done, it gave up good information that was used to save American lives and the lives of the people that we are over there to help protect. So, strike one against our new president. The second thing that he did was to set a date for the closing of Guantanamo Bay and to do so without any plans in place on what to do with the so-called detainees there. People, we have got this all wrong here because for one thing, if you look up the definition of things, these people that are being held in Gitmo are not detainees but instead are prisoners of war. A war that, that was brought to our shores on the morning of September 11, 2001. Now, if you remember, I hope you do, that day started with two terrorists taking two jet airliners and flying them into the World Trade Centers to bring them down, killing all people of every color. Another terrorist flew another jet airliner into the side of the Pentagon, and yet another tried to fly another jet airliner into a place we do not know of because brave Americans retook that plane and crashed it into a field in Pennsylvania. Yes, my friends, I am back to that. We have got to remember what started this whole thing and why we have to win this war on terror. The main reason is this. They are still out there and looking to destroy what is American. That means that they are out there planning to kill as many of us as they can. And our electing President Obama has done what nothing else could. It's got them, the lot of them over there, jumping for joy in their shorts because now they have a president here in the United States who will do what is needed to help them stage another attack on our great country. If this wasn't so, why would they be so happy that Mr. Obama is our president? He is going to do just what they want done so they can continue their campaign against the West and the freedoms that we are so intent on throwing away. Our new president is working actively on that one, so you people who don't want your freedoms anymore, you don't have to do anything. He will do it for you. Strike two. Your new and historic president will be doing that for you from now on for the next four years. So congratulations, you got what you want. Two strikes and one week in office, not a good track record. As for me, I will continue to fight for America and fight for the freedoms that our military has fought and sacrificed for since the beginning of this great nation and still do today. I will not let their sacrifices go to waste as the Democrats and the wimpy Republicans who say they are representing us in Washington, D.C. are doing. They are not representing us. This is Robert Garding, the Infidel Talkmaster, with this computer side chat. God bless America. God bless our troops and my viewers on this 25th day of January, 2009. Have a good, safe, and blessed day.